Hey, what's up everybody? So in today's video, we are going to be upgrading my Crested Gecko Pickles enclosure because I don't know if anyone knows, but I am super bad at keeping plants alive and her enclosure says it all. So let me show you right now. So this is the current state of our enclosure. There's maybe two pothos that are still living in here. I took out all the fake plants for a good cleaning and I just haven't put them back. But I figured this would be a good time for me to kind of restart and do all live plants again. So let me just show you the inside. All right, so a close up look of the inside. This is one plant that is still somewhat living. It's kind of dead. I might just pull it out because I don't think it's worth saving. Pickle is right there, laying in the back. And then this plant is actually doing really good. This is a philodendron, and also this one right here. So I might save these two. I might just clump them together into one pot. But let's see down here. <laughs> and... Hey, Jess and Luca, Luca. Down here, there is nothing. It is all dead, and she knocked down her food bowl from last night. So since I moved back to my house, which I do not use chemicals for, and it hasn't been chemically treated in the past four to five years, I figured it would be kind of cool if I took some plants from my yard and placed them in pickles enclosure instead, since I know the plants are safe, and heck, these plants are free, so I wouldn't have to waste any money if these plants die on me. And to kind of show that I'm not at all completely lost when it comes to keeping plants alive, I do have my little collection of succulents that have been okay so far. They kind of thrive on their own outside. I don't really do anything to them. But these two plants, these two were supposed to go inside my dart frog vivarium. So far, I think this one actually might make it in. This one was doing really good, but then I forgot to water it for a week, so it died off. But there's still a little bit of bright green right there, so I might be able to save it after all. And then, of course, I do have my dart frog vivarium, which is doing fairly well, as you can see. A lot of these plants I got when they were only, like, maybe this big, and they've grown a lot. So there still needs to be some work done for this tank before I do decide to put frogs in, but just to show you guys, there is video proof that I am not a complete plant murderer. I'm also able to keep this alive. This is my spineless prickly pear cactus that I grow for my tortoise Hoppy, who is currently right here in his outdoor enclosure. I have this metal grate to protect him from birds. There's Hoppy right there, chilling. He's supposed to be eating weeds uh, and grazing, but I think he's just resting right now. I'm gonna have to take him in, in a little bit because it is starting to get really hot outside, and even with the shade, with him being this tiny, I worry about him getting dehydrated. And Jasper over here is eating off all the grass. What are you doing? So one of the plants I kind of want to use in Pickles Enclosure is this. I've got a lot of bird's nest ferns kind of growing over here. They've been doing really well, especially with the Florida rains lately. So I might take some of the smaller ones and plant them in her enclosure. I'm also considering one of these bromeliads, but they are really large. So I might even do these smaller ones here. I don't even know if these are bromeliads, but they look kind of like it and I think this might work for enclosure as well. I also have some really cool snake plants. I know people use this all the time for crested gecko enclosures. The only thing with these is they're like four feet tall so I might have to dig around in this little area and see if I can find something that's smaller that can go in there. Again I have those same plants that I talked about earlier. The other thing I notice in this section of my yard is I have this really cool vine that trails all the way up there and it's got a pretty cute little heart-shaped heart leaf. So I think I might just pull this and then wrap it around all the branches in there and let that grow because these vines grow like weeds here where I live. I also have these really cool plants. I have no idea what they're called, but they have this really pretty red flower and they're these giant leaves, which I think would be really great, except they're way too big for the enclosure. So unfortunately, unless I find a smaller version of it, it's not gonna be able to fit. Oh look, I did find some smaller snake plants. These are like maybe two feet tall, so they might actually fit. 
I also have this jackfruit tree, which unfortunately is too big, but I think it would be so cool if she could get this whole tree to herself. I'm like currently in upgrading all my animals enclosures and I'm like seriously debating if I should just get her this really giant enclosure where she could hop around even though she really doesn't do anything. She's already in a 55 gallon, which is way bigger than a crested gecko normally would need. But I just think it'd be so cool to have all these plants inside my house. But that is something to be dealt with in the far, far future. Then I found these little purple plants. I'm not sure what they're called, but I see them all the time. And I think I might use some of this because it does add some color. All right, so this is what I ended up grabbing. I did get some of those bromeliads that I was talking about, the smaller ones. They are a little tall, so I'm not sure how it's gonna fit, but there's a snake plant back there, and then I also grabbed that purple plant. I have no idea what that's called. Some of the vines, and I also grabbed some of that bird's nest fern too. So now I'm just gonna quickly rinse it just to make sure that there's no bugs in it. Then I'm gonna plant them in her enclosure. Okay, so I just finished the enclosure and I'm gonna show it to you right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but Pickle just jumped off my shoulder and onto my tripod. So 
She has been hanging out on the door of her enclosure the whole time I've been working on it. She's been very patient. And now I'm gonna show her what her new home looks like. Pickle, you wanna see your new home? I redecorated your room. You wanna see your new home? So let's start off with Pickle's famous hammock that I really like, which she never uses. I lost one of the metal pieces for the suction cup for the other end, so I had to move it over to this side to hang on this branch. And then in the back, I have her two pothos plants that are over there. Down here, I have some of these vines that I grabbed. They are planted in these pots, but I also don't know if any of this will survive because I did a lot of moving and I had to untwine them from whatever they were tangled up in outside. So I don't know. It kind of seems like I put the plants through a lot of stress. Over here I have some of that purple plant that I really liked. I also have some back there as well. Some of these bromeliads that I added in. And then I also have another one back there. And down at the very bottom I have some of these taller bromeliads. You can see there's a snake plant back there, which you can barely see because there's no light touching it. And then I have that bird's nest fern all the way in the back. It looked really good when I put them in because I didn't have anything in the top yet. So all the light was shining down on it. But then now that this whole top part is filled, I'm a little concerned that none of this is gonna live. I'm considering going to Ikea and just getting some of the LED strip lights to put on these corners. But then again, the plants still may not survive because I did manhandle them a lot. So I'm gonna give this a few days to kind of settle in and reassess from there. But let's go ahead and add Pickle in. She's still on my tripod. Pick, Pickle. She's just staring at the wall. Pickle, come on. Let's go check out your new home. Come on, climb up. That's one trick I learned is if you want a gecko to crawl on you, just make your hand higher than their head because their natural instinct is to climb up. All right, let's see what she does. Okay, go in, check it out. Got all these plants to explore. You're probably just gonna hide anyways, but there you go. So here's a far off shot of the enclosure. So now you can kind of see what I mean by saying that the bottom half of the enclosure isn't really getting any light, which I'm okay with pulling the plants out if they end up dying because Pickle never touches that bottom end anyway. She's always in the top one third. All right, so before I end this video, I wanted to show you guys the new enclosure that I have been building for Liam. As you guys know, in my last video, I talked about trying to find him an enclosure or at least getting the supplies to build one um, at the reptile expo that I was at. But since I wasn't able to find anything, I decided to start building one on my own. And in this video, I did talk about upgrading all my animals' enclosures, so I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of what Liam's enclosure currently looks like. It's almost done. I'm still waiting for the heat panels to come in before I can finish it off. This is what his enclosure currently looks like. It is flipped on its back right now. This is supposed to be the bottom and that's gonna be the top. It is a four foot by two foot by two foot enclosure, so it is pretty big for him. I think this should suit him for the rest of his life as he continues to grow. I am going to be posting a video of uh, me building this enclosure in a little bit, but I have to wait until it's completely finished before I post that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Pickle is currently enjoying her enclosure. She's still in the same position that I stuck her up there. I don't know if you can see her. She's like right there hanging on the branch. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will keep you updated on how the plants are doing in the next video. Hopefully they are still alive by then.